Um, uh, now, what was my speech about? Oh, yes. Don't we all have moments like that where we completely forget what we wanted to say? Where there's a pause between knowing what to say and saying it, having no idea and completely losing our train of thought, and then remembering and continuing to speak. But that gap in the middle, where we do pause, where we stop, what do we fill that with? We fill it with two syllables. We fill it with um and uh. Two syllables so unappreciated in the English language. <laughs> Let me tell you of a time where I had to use these syllables myself. There I was, calm, relaxed, at peace, on my sofa on a Sunday afternoon. I'm watching telly. The world is fine. Then, suddenly, just to disturb it all, through the door bursts my mother. <laughs> she says to me, Max, what homework do you have? I'm stunned. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Was there maths? Was there English? Was there science? I don't know. It's my planet. That's somewhere else. So I give the only answer I can. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, Mum. I'm sure this is a time where many of you, if not all of you, can relate to. Whether it be at home, like with me, at work, at school, or on the street where some random stranger asks you for the time. We all arm and err. And we do it because we're human. Because we need that second to think. And it's the times where we do need to stop and think. It's the times where we need to pause. The time where our brain should work faster, but it just doesn't. That makes me ask you all, no. That makes me urge you all to join with me, and together we can get Amanur into the English Dictionary. <laughs>